Hey guys, welcome back to the Persona Cosmetics YouTube channel, aka PCC. I feel like I've been kind of MIA. I haven't made videos here in a while because things have been a bit hectic <clears throat> because, you know, we've got a new launch happening and all. I'm so, so excited to make this video because we've been so busy for the past few months trying to wrap up the campaign for this palette and I don't even know where to start this video. So I'm just going to start from the very beginning. If you guys are new, hi, I'm I'm Sona, the founder of Persona Cosmetics, and Persona Cosmetics was born almost three years ago with our very first product, which was the Identity Palette. This palette was so popular, it went viral, it sold out three times. We are sold at Ulta, our own site, and it was time for us to come back with another palette because you guys love the formula so much. And I wanted to make sure that the second Identity Palette was very different from the first one in a sense that you could wear it to create really fun, colorful looks, but that you still had your neutrals and your everyday shades because I know that people that love the Identity Palette swear by it for every day because it is just such a great everyday palette. So with this one, again, I wanted to have fun with it, you know? I wanted it to be a little bit more wild, kind of like that wild, fun sister of Identity One. So I'll start with the packaging and I'll get into all of the details as I go through the video, but I wanted to say that I did film this look on my channel. I'll link that video below if you guys want to check it out. It's a Selena Gomez recreation and I love how it turned out using the palette, of course. I'm going to start with the unit carton because it's so cute and fun and it really represents the true colors in the Identity palette. We just wanted to mix all of the colors that are in the Identity 2 and create something like really cool and holographic. So our graphic designer, Jackie, whoop whoop, Jackie in the house, she came up with this design which we absolutely love and we just were like, okay, let's do it. We did have a, a few different options and iterations and like, you know, it just, it always starts somewhere and then it ends somewhere else. So I feel like eventually we'll share maybe the process over on Insta stories because we love doing that. So you guys can see kind of like where it started and how we ended up here. My favorite part about the Unicarton is what's inside. We wanted to surprise the first 700 people that purchased the first identity palette and print their names inside side of the unit carton, which I thought was so cute. It's just a way for us to show how much we appreciate you guys and just have you guys be a part of the product as much as we can. I know it's just the box that people throw away, but we really wanted to give it our all and give it, you know, some love and life and hopefully you guys appreciate the little details that we put into it as well. All of the names are written in the back, the full ingredient list. Of course, our palette is made in the US. Same exact formula as Identity One, and except some of the colors have a little bit more payoff like shimmer and stuff, which I'll get into as we are swatching them. Total net worth is 0.48 ounces and 13.8 grams. I'm really bad at like the technical stuff, but I'm gonna try to make sure I don't forget anything. So now on to the actual packaging. We wanted the packaging to be very simple and kind of something that you're not gonna get tired of seeing on your vanity. So we changed a lot from the first identity palette because you have to remember that the first one was our very first product. So we really didn't have that much experience, obviously. And for me personally, I wanted some sort of artwork on it. So I didn't think of the longevity of the brand and I didn't think of, of the design moving forward with other products. So it was again, something that we did because that's like what I wanted at the moment. But as we are growing, obviously things are changing and we're thinking a little bit more about the longevity of the brand and whatnot. So anyway, I feel like that's a long story short. I want to make sure that the component was very simple, chic, durable, still travel friendly. So it's still the same size as the Identity One, but it's obviously just a recyclable plastic instead of the paper. It's just so simple and so chic. I absolutely love it. Are you ready? Although if you follow us on Instagram, we did something really cute and revealed two shades every Monday and Wednesday up until launch day, which was really fun. People loved it and I thought that was really cute. But this is the palette and I'm just so excited. And as you can see, because the component is so light and simple, the colors really, really stand out, which was the goal. It does come with a Mylar with our logo on it, so we're just gonna take that out. And I wanted to talk about the mirror because this was another reason why I wanted to go from paper to plastic. This is the Identity One and it's paper, and I just wanna show you guys the comparison. So it is based 
basically the same size, just a little slightly bigger because this part is what helps the palette to open. And then when the palette is open, so as you can see, the mirror is it's very dirty. That's another reason why I didn't like this, but I'll get into that. So the mirror is not taking over the entire lid. With Identity 2, because there was a mold specifically created for us, they were able to do a full-size mirror, which I know a lot of plastic uh, palettes have. It's easier to do that because you could do a mold, whereas with paper palettes, again, we didn't know this back, back in the day, but you couldn't do that. Nonetheless, I love that there's a full-size mirror here. And then I also love how neat and clean it looks overall. One of the things that I didn't love about the uh, first Identity palette is that it got dirty, and when I tried to clean it, it, it would clean with wipes pretty okay, but with plastic, it just comes off so easily. You don't have to work too hard at it. If it gets dirty, you just wipe it and you just move on. And I just absolutely love that. The other thing I didn't love about the paper palette is that they have to cut these individually. And when you pop the eyeshadow in there, sometimes it's not very precise and you can get some gaps and stuff. And no matter how much you try to perfect it, it's really impossible unless you have a mold. Again, unless you have a specific mold for your specific eyeshadows. With this, you're not going to see any gaps. It's just going to be super clean. It's just a little more luxurious. It is definitely a little bit more expensive to produce, but I just think it was so worth it because for me, quality is everything. And I just wanted to make sure that you guys are getting a good quality eyeshadow palette. So the price of this is going to be $42, which I think is still so reasonable for the quality that you're getting. I was actually talking about this with our lab and they were like, your price is so reasonable compared to your formula because you have one of the best formulas. I hope you guys appreciate that as well because we do have a really good quality luxury formula of course made in the US with great ingredients and so now I'll get into the colors and swatches and kind of talk about it so the first thing I want to talk about is uh, the names the names of the shades because it is another very very special thing a lot of times if you follow us on socials on my personal or on personas Instagram I always ask a lot of questions and a lot of those questions I gather for product development whether that's about the shade whether that's about the texture what you're loving, what you're not loving, what you're looking for in a product. And when it came to naming the shades, I wanted to make sure that you guys helped name them and you were a part of it. And so what we did was initially we want to ask what your struggles were and we really didn't know what type of answers we were going to get. But this made me so emotional. I just have so much more appreciation for you and I feel more of a deep connection with you because of this specific post. And so many people pour their hearts out and share their struggles, which I thought was so special because because sometimes when you think of struggles, you don't think that people are willing to share it in public, right? Because this is the comment section and everyone's going to see it. But we were so surprised that people came forward and, and really shared their deepest struggles. I feel like that really helps other people not feel alone. And I feel like when you read something and you can relate to it, you're like, wait, I go through the same thing and I'm not alone. And I just thought it was so special. We heard your struggles. We can relate. And there's something special that I'm working on in regards to that because again it really hit home for me so I want to kind of explore that a little bit more we asked what your struggles were and we got a ton of feedback and ton of people pouring their hearts out and this time we wanted to know what defines you what your identity is what you see yourself as and this time we got a ton of positive feedback which was so cool because if something positive defines you that's really who you are Everyone has struggles and everyone goes through things and I don't want to get super sappy here. But anyway, a lot of people replied with these names and we picked 12 of our favorite names that I feel, you know, represents our community and we named the shades. So we've got honest, kind, loyal, independent, passionate, unique, driven, confident, empowered, resilient, brave, and limitless. So I want you guys all to feel this way because that's what really defines who we are. We know we can have all the struggles in the world, but this right here is what defines us. And I wanted to make sure that when you're getting ready in the morning, you look at the names and you feel that. You really truly feel that inside and out. Now I'm going to get into the swatches. And in case I miss anything, please leave me a comment. I'm going to be down there in the next few hours answering comments and questions that you may have. I do have a couple of announcements real fast before we get into the swatches. So number one, we are now sold at Namie's. If you guys are in LA, you can find us at both Namie's locations. The palette launches today so you can go in into the description box grab the link and shop it from our website directly our shipping is super fast and we do ship internationally you just have to look and see if your country is there we are also going to be sold 
on Alta.com. And are you guys ready for the biggest announcement ever? <laughs> We're also going to be sold at 450 Alta stores starting end of August. This is such a big milestone for us. We've worked so hard for this and we're just so excited. So at the end of August, beginning of September, it should trickle down to all 450 stores. Um, we're gonna have limited products in the beginning and hopefully we can you know, work our way up, but we're gonna definitely be selling Identity 2 there. So if you guys uh, wanna go and check it out and feel it and touch it, it will be available. You just have to check and make sure the Alta Neo U has it because I know they have a about 800 stores and we'll be in 450 so make sure to check so that's like the biggest and the most exciting news that I'm so so happy to announce but if you don't want to wait that long you can grab the palette of course from our website today I'll have the links below all right let's get into the swatches we're gonna start with honest honest is just a beautiful iridescent pearly highlight color which has more of a pink to peach undertone I know it's kind of a lot to explain a simple shade but I really wanted this shade to change with the light so like when you're moving your head your your eyeshadow color almost like has an iridescence to it and the color sort of changes from peach to pink so this is just a beautiful shade for highlighting the brow bone the inner corners I also really love this on the face in fact you know what I'm gonna do right now I'm gonna go ahead and apply this on my collarbone so you can see how beautiful it is as just an overall face highlight as well I'm using a tiny brush but you can obviously use a bigger brush so it is just such a gorgeous shade look at that oh my gosh it looks so dewy but it's powder of course it's just a very gorgeous shade for highlighting kind is just a really beautiful creamy all matte shade it's super buttery blends very well I think this is a great shade to set your eyelids with and then go into all the other colors it's also a great shade to do highlighting for your brow bone and for your inner corners you're not gonna see it very well just because it is literally like almost my skin color so it's just a very beautiful creamy shade moving on to loyal loyal is just a beautiful transition shade it's a light to medium brown it's just so blendable I have it on my crease right now and then of course I have um, other shades I'll, I'll get into but one thing I want to say is that with loyal if it's a little bit too light for your skin tone I suggest mixing it with brave because I feel like loyal mixed with brave just becomes a little bit deeper so I have loyal and I have brave on my crease and as you can see it is a lot darker than if you were to just see loyal on its own so with independent I wanted it to be special we mix in more of like that blue gunmetal undertone to it so it's just that perfect gunmetal with a blue undertone it looks very different on different skin tones I'll insert a photo of Chloe Morello who just wore the shade for a shoot we had and it looked completely different on her I absolutely loved it on her so it's cool toned it's just perfect for a night out I love creating like smoky looks with this or just doing a wash of color next we've got passionate which is another transition shade but it also looks beautiful as a color on its own so this was meant to be just like a fun transition shade you've got your neutral transition shade and then you've got more of like a fun transition shade but again this a lot of people would just use as wash of color deepening the crease overall lid color it's very very versatile in that sense it is just such a beautiful beautiful shade I absolutely love it moving on to unique unique is just such a stunning shade because for me again I wanted to make sure that this was more of a fun pattern so I didn't want to do like a boring gold shade or like I, I, I don't want to call it boring but I didn't want to do like a simple gold shade I wanted it to really stand out so that's what this is this is just really gonna pop it's a conversation starter it is gorgeous on so many different eye colors so I absolutely love this shade it's obviously very different from gold digger because gold digger is a little bit more simple again great for every day which is an identity one palette and this is gonna be a little bit more out there Angie actually did a look with this and she used it as an inner corner highlight I'm gonna insert photos loved it on her it was so beautiful it actually gave me the idea to do it on myself because I think as an inner corner highlight again it's just such a conversation starter so it's beautiful okay next we've got driven driven is just a really beautiful green shade and I feel like green is really hard because if it's too light it just you know you can't necessarily wear it all year round you can wear it in the summer in the spring and then when it's a little bit too deep then it's more of a fall winter color so I was like we need to get that perfect in between green so that you can wear it all year round and not 
have to like wait for a season to wear it. That's why this is the shade of green that it is because I want you to rock it all year round. So this is just a st stunning shimmery green shade. Also forgot to say that you get seven shimmers in here and you get five mattes versus in the identity one, you got six and six. Okay, moving on to Confident. Confident is just a beautiful, cool toned, kind of like a purpley plum shade. If you have brown eyes, you're gonna love this shade because it really brings out the color. And I just absolutely love this. And I love plum, so I always try to think of ways you can incorporate plums into eyeshadow palettes because purples and plums really, you know, help enhance your brown eyes. And I'm all about enhancing brown eyes. So I just wanted to make sure that you, you guys got a variety of plums. So next we've got Empowered, which is just another beautiful plum shade. Empowered is gonna be a little bit more cool toned. It's more purpley, I would say. I love both shades, so I was like, I can't choose. I really wanna provide both because I feel like they're just very wearable, you know? I love color, but I also wanna make sure that it's wearable for you guys to just wear it every day, wear it to a night out. I want it to be versatile, so I just didn't wanna like give you one of them. Next, I'm gonna swatch Resilient because this is just such a beautiful bronzy shade and I feel like everyone needs a bronze in their life. I had a bronze in Identity One and you guys loved it, I loved it. Goddess has more of like a gold undertone, whereas this is deeper. This is gonna be a little bit more like warmer and and just a little bit deeper, I would say. Great for like more of a sexy eye versus like goddess is a little bit more brighter. So next we've got Brave, which is a warm tone, kind of like reddish brown. So in Identity One, you had Fearless, which I probably should swatch so you guys can see the difference. But for example, this is Fearless. So this right here is Fearless and this right here is Brave. As you can see, they're very different. This is a lot warmer. It's a little bit more richer. It's like a chocolatey, rich brown. And I just think that this suits the palette better because I wanted to make sure you guys also got a black. So here is the black shade and it's called Limitless because, well, it is limitless, right? You can do so many things with black. So for today, I did a whole liner look with this. And I think that for me personally, I, I always talk about this, but whenever I use liquid liners, I feel like it's a little bit harsh for me so I love more of a smudged kind of eyeliner look which is why I like to use powders pencils kind of smudge it so in today's look as you can see it's a little bit more subtle than if you were to use you know a liquid liner so I love using this just to line my lash line so the shadows are super buildable very creamy very luxurious like I said and it is going to be the same formula that you guys are used to from identity one except some of the shades so that's what I wanted to talk about unique is gonna be a lot more shimmer and a lot more intense than say Gold Digger in Identity One. And overall, when you've got color and, and shimmer, it's of course gonna feel a little bit different. So I think that you know, these, when you swatch them, the texture and everything is gonna feel the same, but it might be just a little bit more intense, I would say, in terms of like the payoff and the shimmer, because I wanted to make sure that you got the color payoff as well. The mattes are the same exact, super buttery, super blendable, super creamy. So again, you get seven shimmers, five mattes, $42, cruelty-free, made in the US, just a very luxurious palette. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys are excited about it. I will have links in the description box so you guys can check it out. But in the meantime, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below and I'll be down there for the next few hours answering questions for you. So I hope you guys are excited. I hope you're just as happy as I am because two and a half years was a long time and I'm just so happy that we're finally here with another palette. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for all of the support and all of the love as usual. I love you guys so much. Thank you and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.